for the next few minutes, all you're going to see is just me sitting here, just talking about the gear that I use. So hopefully you are a fan of triathlon and you are interested in gear as much as I am, and you will find this interesting. Between three disciplines that we do, swim, bike and run, we have race entries, traveling and all the other stuff that is necessary to do uh, to do the sport, it gets pretty expensive. Um, so I just wanted to show how I approach maybe saving a little money and uh, maybe spending them a little bit smarter and getting only gear that you actually need for triathlon. We need a lot of things. Definitely, like for sure, you don't really need to go with the newest stuff or the fanciest stuff, uh, especially when we are amateur triathletes. Of course, if you can allow yourself to do that, that's completely fine. Go for it. That's perfectly reasonable. But if you are more on a tighter budget, like me, um, I would say, um, I want to share how I'm choosing the gear that I'm using. Let's start from the beginning. Let's actually start from the top, from the top of my head. And let's talk about swim caps. I have many of them because as you know, when you go to a race, you usually get one just because race organizers are giving them away all the athletes. Uh, in my current rotation, I have two of them because you know, I just like what they represent. First of all, uh, this is from Challenge Championship in Samarin in 2023. I participated there. I covered it in the previous videos where I introduced myself. So if you're interested, go watch it. Second hat is from European Youth Championship in my hometown of Poinevegis. Of course, I'm not youth. I did not participate in that. I was a technical official there. So friends of mine in the Triathlon Federation of Lithuania hooked me up with this one. I'm very happy with it. Now, goggles. Um, I've tried many of them. Um, like these are the few, the, the last few that I've used. Um, and I want to go one by one some good things and bad things about them first of all we've got these speedos uh, they are pretty scratched now they're pretty old but they are very comfortable i feel like i could wear them forever they do not leak they they have a very good suction to your head you know uh, it works very well um but the problem with them was they are incredibly dark I did not think about it when I got them, but um, I swam quite a few quite a few times in them before, uh, and I went to do my first seventy point three in them. It was a lake swim, um, and funny enough, the water there is quite dark. In combination with a very dark goggle, guess what happened? I pretty much couldn't see anything. Uh, all I saw was pretty much up to my elbow and then just kind of dark there. So it was a very interesting swim, but still good fun though. Next ones are Arena Cobra Ultra. Uh, these ones here also scratched a little bit, but I have them for quite a while now. They were gifted to me um, by a friend uh, who now is an ex-professional swimmer but uh, yeah he had a few of them laying around so he gave me a pair they are cool they are very fast if you want to look like you know what you're doing in the pool go get these ones but uh, problem with them is they are incredibly uncomfortable my eyes hurt very badly after using them so i kind of do not use them anymore very rarely for some naive reasons i think like oh maybe they will more comfortable so i try and i remember why i'm not using them and now we go to a very interesting pair of goggles these are arena swedix goggles that i got from wiggle uh, they are 
actually surprisingly comfortable compare even though they do not have any padding uh, comparing to cobras that have a little bit of padding um, they are much more comfortable compared to those um, and like they, they're pretty cool they're very like there's not much in them uh, they just fit right onto your eye sockets and maybe they just like kind of fit the shape of my eyes uh, I really like swimming in them most importantly which the most interesting part of these goggles is that they have this little bend uh, in the eye or on the front of the goggle what it does when your head is in the water it kind of bends the view a little bit so what happens when you have them on your field of view in the water is when you look down a little bit you're not looking directly there you look a tiny bit up which is pretty cool because what it makes you do you put your head a little bit more horizontally and then your body stays a bit more horizontally which means you go a little bit faster so that's nice unfortunately yeah, even though they are pretty cool uh, they are not they are not comfortable for a very long swims so I was looking into what should I get next uh, what should I try out and for the past year I've been swimming in these uh, these are one of the cheapest uh, goggles that I ever bought these were uh, 14 euros in the Nike outlet and uh, they are very simple everyday goggles very soft it has okay suction um, and uh, yeah they're clear which is nice also it makes me look like a fish because the goggles themselves are clear and my eyes are fully visible so and yeah I look like a fish or at least I feel like I look like a fish but I like them anyways they are cool you know they are comfortable and that's that's the only thing that matters uh, when you're swimming now let's go a little bit lower and talk about trunks I have a couple of them I have training ones and the racing ones uh, my training ones are arena drag shorts i had them for i don't remember actually how many years but it's been a very long time uh, so long that the logo that used to be here is completely washed off but the fabric itself it's kind of like meshy uh, thing and it's very good it's it, it's lasting fabric itself it's still intact uh, no rips in the seams uh, all the stitching is still in perfect condition I really enjoy them they're comfortable to wear and of course they are very slow shorts but these are only for training purposes I think they're like you can buy them between 20 and 30 euros they will last you a very long time I really love them and my racing jammers are the ones they are arena carbon uh, something i don't know uh, whatever they're fast i have i got them from a friend i very appreciate you dude and uh, thank you for them uh, these ones they are incredibly fast i, I wear them only for races uh, and it's like i am a triathlete not a swimmer so i have maybe one or two occasions a year uh, to wear them and um, so it's fun they make me feel like a fastest boy in a pool even though uh, pretty much everybody is wearing them they are uh, hydrophobic they are uh, very like they are very slippery in the water big minus of them is they are very very tight um so yeah if I will gain any more weight, uh, I'm not gonna fit in them. Despite that, as I mentioned before, I got them from a friend, so it's secondhand. I did not pay for them, uh, but uh, 
I strongly encourage you if you're using them for few races a year, if you're not like like a like professional swimmer, do not buy them. They are incredibly expensive and you're gonna use them for one or two races a year. Uh, just get second hand. They are okay. They like, I know that professional swimmers might disagree with me, but um, as far as I know, like the thinking there is that uh, for pros, for like the creme de la creme of, um, of the athletes, they use them for one or two races and they go for another pair of uh, jammers. For guys like us, and we're racing very rarely, we are completely fine with second hand and with the shorts that have been used for several times. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we are just for good times, right? Like we go for results, but we trying to beat our results rather than world records. So this will still make you faster, even second hand. This will be the faster shorts that you can get. As we are triathletes, we do open water swimming. And what it means, it's wetsuits. You know, these guys. This wetsuit that I have is from DHB entry-level suit from Wiggle. Uh, I got it um, for a very good discount. Uh, I think I, I paid under 100 euros which is very cheap comparing to other wetsuits that are available uh, to purchase. Yeah, like it definitely feels like an entry level suit. It's uh, three millimeters throughout the whole thing, arms, body, legs. It's okay, you know, it's reasonable. I raced every single race. My swim times are good. Um, so it definitely helps, it does the job, it keeps me warm, it keeps me a bit more buoyant, uh, which is good. The main minus, the shoulders are very thick in comparison, like it does not change, as I mentioned before, it does not change the thickness anywhere. So um, shoulders are quite restrictive. So um, especially when you have when, when you're turning your arms around, you can feel the restriction. You feel like the suit itself does not want to stretch enough for you to be 100% comfortable. So uh, and as you know, I am training for a, a full Ironman. So I thought that I maybe need an upgrade. My process of getting new gear is I always start with research on what gear should I get, what is in my price range, what what kind of stuff is good, what is... And then when I find out what do I need, I will start with uh, secondhand uh, shopping, look for the gear that I need. So unexpectedly, I was searching Vinted and uh, thinking like, maybe I'll find something. And very unexpectedly, I found this. Uh, this was, I checked online, they go, I think retail price is around 200 euros or dollars, yeah, something like that. But I got it for 20 euros on Vinted, which is incredibly cheap. I don't know what happened. It's either person who is selling had no idea what they're selling. Uh, either it has a rip somewhere that I do not understand uh, or it's there's some like, or maybe it's just old, you know? And I know that it's old, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. Like I do not need uh, a newest technology in a wetsuit. Like it's still better than the HB one, you know? Yeah. And there are some reasons for that. First of all, and the very main reasons, it has different thicknesses in different places. So the chest, the body, the legs, are much thicker they are four millimeters and the arms and the shoulders they are i think two millimeters they're very thin and very stretchy that's that provides a good amount of mobility in the shoulders and it's just you know i tried it out already 
I did not find any problems with this suit. The fit is nice. The shoulders are mobile uh, and you can also feel the difference in buoyancy of four millimeters and three millimeters before I can feel that my body is much more horizontal with this. Um, it's, it feels nice and comfortable. Also, it has a slightly higher neck. So it kind of like comparing to the DHB one, it's quite low cut. And uh, this one is much higher on the neck. So it does not let any water inside. Even though it's old, it's pretty cool and I like it. I'm very happy with this deal. Also, it has these things, these, these weird panels on the forearm and I will call it a placebo panels. I think they do not do anything, but they look cool and I will assume that they will make me faster. And some accessories that I use. And let's start with a Garmin 955. Um, it is comparably very fancy watch. I did not buy it. It was a birthday gift for me, um, uh, for my family, which I really appreciate. I would never in a million years spend this much money on a watch, but I got it and I'm very happy. It is way more than I need. It is a high quality thing. It works perfect. It tracks all the data that I need and it's just, you know, it's incredible piece of equipment. And I think there's a plenty of uh, reviews online about this watch. So go watch them. It's a Garmin 955. Um, the main thing for me is just, in a way, it keeps me motivated uh, and it gives me all the data that I need. The only issue that I had was with the strap. Um, it irritated my skin. I kind of developed a little bit of a rash on my wrist. Um, that's why I decided that I need a new one. And I went with uh, making actually, I made it, I made the strap myself, but uh, this is just a elastic strap that is adjustable. I can put it on easily and uh, just select the size that I need and it's on you know, and it's much more comfortable than it was before. Then I have some paddles that I use for swimming, uh, small ones. I use them for a bit more of a technique work. I actually, these days I've been, haven't been using them very often. I had them for probably 10 years. These ones, I have them for a couple of years. A fellow triathlete in Vilnius uh, gave them away for me, um, like, they're just the bigger ones, that's for strength work. Um, so yeah, they're cool. And uh, also I would encourage everyone, if you're not using a gear, sell it secondhand or give away to people who are actually need it. Just because you don't need to hoard anything, you know, like we already have a lot of stuff. You don't need to keep everything that you don't need. And lastly, pull buoys. I have none. Throughout the time that I've been going to the pools, in every single pool that I've been to, I found communal pool buoys or kickboards uh, that I can use. So why bother? Why buy them? Uh, it's just an extra thing to carry with you all the time. Uh, and it just makes more sense to have the ones that are already there. And they are for that purpose. They are there for people to use. So if you go there, if you think that you're not allowed just ask, ask if you can use them and very likely they will say yes. We're done with swim stuff that I use. If you have any questions regarding the gear that I use, just let me know in the comments below or send me a message. Hopefully you enjoy this and you will watch the next few videos. Uh, so subscribe to my channel and see you in the next week. And I forgot a very important piece of equipment, guys. If you do open water swimming, and if you do not own one of these, go buy them now. This is a safety buoy. You can keep your stuff, first of all, when you go out open water swimming and you are alone. And if you want to be safe, uh, wear this all of the time.
it's very self-explanatory just you put stuff inside you roll it up close the buckle you have this then uh, close the thingy you open this smaller valve just inflate it you inflate it close it and now you have a buoy that you strap it on yourself and you swim with this what it does it keeps you safe you have to have this i don't care where you get this if it's second hand uh, or new it doesn't matter as long as it works you have to have this this is a safety thing if you go open water swimming you it's quite dangerous if you're alone or if you're new to swimming and you're not you know never swim without this alone or even with people just make sure you have this i can't stress more yeah have this please do have this this is very important